Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 25th, 2021. Happy Halloween, everybody. Now, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. A couple of things around that. People still seem to be under their impression that there is something to schedule with these readings. No way. <laughs> I have clients all over the world. The time differences, that would be a mess. And also, it would be a lot longer wait time. It wouldn't be a few weeks. It would be a few months, Okay. So basically you submit your question, your information, I tune in for you, I make you an MP3, I deliver it to you, and you can listen to it as many times as you like. So there's no time commitment on your part. So again, angelsouls444.com. If you want the Akashic Records reading, there's no option for that. Just, you know, put in the submission form that you would like the Akashic Records reading, or we could do an angelic reading for you as well. If you prep yourself before one of those, you might have an angelic encounter as you listen. It can be uh, a really beautiful experience. If you want to do an Archangel Meditation Challenge, I have a whole library of them now. Get over to gumroad.com slash angel souls. Okay, there's lots of other stuff over there too. <laughs> All right, let's see what's coming up for this week here. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of, I think, for people on an individual level, we're really being, I keep hearing called out. We're getting called out for something where we as individuals and as a collective, we need to take accountability for our part and how things are in the world. Okay. So what I mean by that is uh, certain jokes that get made, maybe they're not so funny. Uh, certain things that people have just gotten away with saying or doing not the greatest, right? Now, on the flip side of this, we have people who are overcorrecting and using the pains of society to have control over other people. I am not into people who call themselves super woke. I've, I've, anybody who's ever used that term for themselves are usually the complete opposite. Very judgmental, controlling, manipulative even. You know, and I know, I realize saying that, that that might offend some people out there, but you know what? And that's the risk I take by being on the internet. And quite frankly, if you are one of those people, I'm not real concerned if you're offended. Hopefully you can hear this message. I don't know that you will, but hopefully you can. But I think it's more for other people to not start feeling guilty. How interesting, right? Where people are overcorrecting, um, and it really does damage the argument. <laughs> And it holds us up in progress because we're not being balanced in how we approach things, okay? And I think that's what the coming times are going to be all about. Where can we be more loving, less judgmental? Um, if you are judgmental, can you look at that and, um, you know, try to figure out why am I like that? I know I was very judgmental and it was a defense mechanism. I was so afraid that, you know, people were going to be out to get me or, the next person that I try to love is going to harm me or, or what have you, that I would uh, be on the lookout for any sign that someone could be awful to me, right? So where can we look at that and go, okay, well, it's good to be discerning. It's good to walk away from a toxic relationship. We, we see that now. We're seeing this playing out in the world. Here's another message. Let me just jump into this one. Um, there is a message here. Cases are going to be broken open, and this will be a relief, obviously, for the families involved. What that will, that effect on the collective, it's going to force people to really wake up, like really wake up and go, oh, the people who have been shouting about human trafficking for so long, oh, the people who have been shouting about domestic violence for so long, oh, they were, they were onto something. I mean, we knew it, but we didn't know just how much. The people have been going on and on about narcissism. I'm one of those people. I've spent decades going through narcissistic abuse. I finally woke up and said, oh, <laughs> let me love myself. Let me take care of myself. And, and let me never be a victim to that again. This is what we have to do the work on. And the message that's coming through is that things will get worse if we don't. Meaning, it varies. If we don't start taking these horrible 
topics the way the, the dark underbelly of humanity, if we don't start taking those things seriously and stop just looking away because it's uncomfortable, when we look away so we can just enjoy our day, children are being harmed. We just look away and we're just back into whatever we're doing. We have situations like what we see out in the news. And that's just what you got to see. What else has been going on? It's that kind of feeling here. People don't want to hear that though. Oh, it's such a downer. I bet the people who are going through it wish that they could walk away. I bet they wish it wasn't happening too. If we are actually going to be connected with one another, we have to stop allowing each other to suffer. We need to take mental health more seriously. Just about every horrible thing you see out there can be attributed to or backed up to some abuse. I guess it could be wiring. I'm not an expert. Check with an expert. But if we treated our children better, what would they become? These are heavy. A lot of people clicked off because we weren't talking about them. What they mean by that is I didn't hear whether I was going to have a new boyfriend or whether my boyfriend's cheating or whether I got that new job. What's he thinking? What's he feeling? But in fact, we are talking about them. And they walked away. So they'll never hear it. Things will get worse if we don't do something. That means we will collectively manifest tragedy. We will collectively manifest disasters. It's to get our attention. And it is to wake us up to something. Now, for each of us as individuals, it's going to be different for everybody, right? So again, you might get called out on something. Yeah. I, I'm thinking about just mostly phrases and things that, like, we... I don't realize that they're toxic, but I can't stress enough. Don't overcorrect and go the other way and start using this as a way for you to look powerful. I'm so woke. I'm so this. I'm so that. Okay, boomer. You know, oh, nobody's taking you seriously and you're just exposing yourself. Stop with it. You're not helping. All right, cards. Let's see what we have. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and, woof, that one would come out. She popped right out there. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's decision. One of them that flung out. Here's the other one. And the wheel. All right. Well, let's start with these, and then I'll get an Archangel Michael card. So this isn't usually how I read them. You guys know I pull one by one, but I want to do this here. I, I'm really... I'll hold them up here, but I'm really focused on this decision card. It's Archangel Jophiel. Archangel Jophiel is all about wisdom, beauty. It says, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Now, that's speaking more to like you as an individual. Uh, maybe you're making, you know, more out of a situation than it needs to be. But that decision, that word decision, it really does feel like we need to decide to stop looking away. We need to decide to stop being silent. Now, the approach though, we need we need to fix our approach. I'm telling you, if, if we don't do that, it's just going to keep going. Look how many people took hot takes. Look how many people took a moment of something very serious going on and then went out and antagonized others so that they could lay down and play the victim. We see it all the time. Okay, and I'm not going to be quiet about this anymore. If we're going to turn this around, we need to be discerning. So make the decision to work on whatever you have going on, right? We all, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm in therapy. I'm absolutely working through all the past traumas, past abuse, coming through, seeing why I respond to things the way that I do. And it's, you know, very helpful and very mind expanding and you have to be doing that with your spirituality right <laughs> of course we're going to say that here anyway the first card out here was uh knight of ariel trustworthy understanding devoted funny there is so much to accomplish make a very detailed plan 
being watched over by someone kind. Here's the deal with this. Um, things being, this, this is indicating a helpful person, definitely, coming through. But the way this feels is help is on the way. They're saying that getting back to more simplistic times, and this might be around finances too, okay? Um, so people are simplifying their lives, but it has this overall feeling, I've got pen on my finger. <laughs> it has this overall feeling of uh, we've put money ahead of everything. A lot of what is fueled and what is happening out in the world is absolutely because of money, okay? Absolutely. I keep stuttering over my words. <laughs> I'm trying. I've got a big day of filming ahead of me. Let's try this again. So what I was trying to get out is that a lot of things are fueled by financial gains or, you know, no, we're going to have this financial loss or we need people to believe this. And I'm not trying to go down the road of conspiracy theory. That's not what we're doing here. But I can't say it any other way, but we need to wake up. We need to wake up. Okay. But help is on the way. This feels like someone exposing a truth. Somebody comes in and exposes a truth. Now, of course, this card is always, you know, it's about grounding and it's about Ariel's all about nature and detoxifying and, and all of that. But this says make a very detailed plan. And what I feel that's really speaking to, yeah, it might be something in your life that you're trying to accomplish. But I feel like that's more saying open your eyes and look at the details. Don't just say, you know, people coming at you and saying, oh, it's science. It's science. It's great. It's science. It's science. What science? You wouldn't understand. I'm pulling into the station with an okay IQ. I can handle information. What science? Okay. Uh, so there's a bit of that going on. I know this is going to be a bit of a scramble for a lot of you watching this. I know, I know, I know, but this is a big message. I'm trying to get the message out without being cut out. What's more, if you like these messages and you want other people to see them, liking and sharing, and of course making sure you're subscribed, that really does help not just me and my channel, but like if you want this message to get out, if you want it to come through and cut through the sea of readings that are out there, um, you know, then, then make sure you're doing that, okay? So then we have Seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. See, here we go. Have confidence, claim your personal power. So for some, be careful with this. This is not like, hey, let's go nuts and cause harm to people. What? No, don't know. What? No. <laughs> That's not what we're doing here. As a matter of fact, I feel like a big part of the message for this week is learn how to fight fair if you're going to fight, okay? Um, and approach everything with integrity. I was saying to someone, you know, I've seen so many people just take one piece of an argument, one facet of it, whatever aligns with their beliefs, whatever aligns with their politics, and they latch on to it and they say, that's the truth right there. That's it. I don't want to see anything else. Don't tell me anything else. But I'm pretty sure we're missing some very important information by not looking at all the facets of a situation. And as I said to somebody else too, this is what we call compassion, right? Trying to understand where somebody else is coming from. Do you see this huge message of we need to connect in a better way? Right now, people are, you guys know I had a weird week last week. <laughs> so like, you know, people feel like they're becoming unhinged. Now, I had a lovely day today. Sky could not have been more gorgeous. The leaves are popping. I mean, like the color is just all over the place, like just in your face and it's gorgeous and whatever. But um, I don't know. There, there's, there's, I have an unsettled feeling. As I do these messages, I'm always trying not to scare anybody. Uh, and I also don't want to sensationalize. But if you're going to come here and I'm going to open up to angelic messaging, they are coming through and saying, examine how you see things, which is... For us humans, it's like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> Examine how you see things. Well, what do you mean? Look through what is just on the surface. Look, and that, again, that doesn't mean, like, go try to uncover a big conspiracy theory story necessarily. Unless you think it's necessary, then let us know. But, <laughs> but what I'm getting at here is that we have become numb uh, to a lot of toxic behavior, toxic sayings, um, 
toxic structures in place, we are going to be absolutely shocked. And there, it feels like this let down feeling. And there's guilt. And we carry the guilt because we didn't know. We didn't know it was like that. We didn't know that's how bad it was. We didn't know. This can come with a little bit of pain. And I think that on a soul level, I hope we've moved away from the cult mentality of always being positive. Okay. Positivity is great. <laughs> Positivity is going to help you make really beautiful things in your life. But you are here to be human. Never forget that. You are here to be human. You are designed to experience a range of emotions. Okay. Nor is it wise to ignore things like trauma. And if you're a sensitive person, a lot of those souls come in to experience how, how bad can it get? How dark can it get? And they do that. So they come on through and they learn how to come through and then they can help others. But it's mostly for that soul understanding of, um, it, I'm hearing it's an energy experiment. It's an energy experiment. And if we come in at this time under these circumstances and we deal with these people and have this type of thing and this type of thing, what will that do to me physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually? How will I grow? How will my body fall apart? <laughs> Comment down below. Anybody else feel like they're falling apart? That's me. Every time I turn around, something's cracking or hurting or whatever. But, you know, <laughs> but, you know that is part of what we're doing here is to go through that. So I, I, I feel like a lot of people who say, you know, just be positive. You know, they, maybe they're well-intentioned. But uh, I don't know. I, I think it does drag people off course a little bit. Remember what I say, what's your bounce back time, <laughs> right? So if you're going through something, go ahead and allow yourself to be angry. Don't take it out on anybody, okay? Make sure you get proper support. Spirituality and spiritual practice is going to help you understand yourself. It's going to help you feel at ease to some, you know, to some uh, measure. But then you have to work on the psychology, which this is not a replacement for, ever. I don't care who's doing the reading, Okay. So make sure you're doing that as well. I can't stress this enough. I wish, uh, I really do wish sometimes you guys could just like, <laughs> you know, kind of tune in for the feeling and then you would get it, but whatever. Okay, so then we're back on this decision card uh, and then just to reread it, release yourself from that which holds you back. See that, and then it goes on to say, I need to detox unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. The stuff that holds us back would be the argument loop. We're getting nowhere. Why? We're divided. We're not looking at all facets of a situation. Everyone has a perspective. And yeah, a lot of times we don't want to look at what, you know, the other perspective is. We don't want to look at the other side. We see them as an enemy, right? But we need to, we need to make better choices here. Something's coming. Just hang tight here. Let me let me just go in here. Infection. And then I heard holes in the universe. Now, I don't I didn't feel like infection was literal. Again, you just need to look at current headlines to understand kind of one example. I think of what they're getting at here. I'm telling you, there, there are a lot of sick individuals out there. But we've overlooked a lot of sickness. We've taken it as, that's normal. That's just how he is. Oh, get over it. Grow, grow a thick skin. I remember I had gone, maybe I've told you guys this before, but I had gone through... Something, you know, people should not have to go through. And it was in the workplace. And uh, I remember telling somebody later, you know, this happened. And they said, oh, get over it. That's just how they are. You need to grow a thick skin if you're going to do this kind of work. 
And then uh, a handful of months later, I was faced with another situation that never got to that, to that level ever, but I was so like waiting for it. And how many of you can relate to that? Comment down below. I was so waiting for this next person to be as cruel and evil as this other person because they knew each other. And I lived on the defensive. Now, I'm not saying that the person, the new person that came at me in that new situation, um, that they were perfect. Certainly not. But my, my defenses were up. We're in a scramble here, right? And that's just one example where we don't even know what's up, what's down, what's going on. This is a time to admit some hard truth to yourself. If that is... I need help. Or you may be sitting here watching this going, you know, I, th I think maybe I'm narcissistic. Okay. Well, that's huge. <laughs> that's huge if you're willing to look at that. And then you get with an expert. Okay. All right. There's more to it. I'm just trying to keep this under two hours. Uh, <laughs> so we have the wheel, uh, Archangel Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah, let's talk. Archangel Jeremiah is all about life review. This whole reading thus far, I'm going to pull Michael card, but this whole reading so far is stop, stop, reevaluate, <laughs> right? Look, turn around and look at all the things that have been occurring. And it's in that moment where I think we all go, whoa, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, or that was, I'm going back to a saying as an example, you know, that was a saying I used all the time, oh my God, you know, um, or, you know, I'm just used to referring to women as crazy. They're just crazy and emotional. Yeah. <laughs> the wheel. So we're being asked to stop, make a decision to face things with support, always with support. Your friends are not your therapists. Knock it off. Don't put them through that. Go get a therapist, okay? That's why we have health insurance. <laughs> At least here in the U.S., we have health insurance, okay? So looking back and reevaluating okay doing a review and it's not just for you as an individual it's for all of us and yes it's imperative that we look at our own paths we all have things that we're trying to do on a soul level here our soul's contract but and, and of course that energy does contribute to the collective but we have to care about the collective too that is us and we are that okay so it says new beginnings end of delays a change in direction that offers happiness yeah there's a realization <laughs> guys i'm curious to see what this is going to be uh there's a huge realization or something breaks open and it does feel like something that felt because they're saying trapped and hidden is now breaking open here's what's fascinating about this because i think when people hear that they might think of somebody they really don't like, okay? Or maybe it's an executive, or maybe it's a uh, politician, or whoever, somebody in power. And you're like, good, get them. And then you realize, no, you participated. Me? Not me. I'm blameless in this, <laughs> right? But we, what it, I'm trying to put this into succinct words. Sorry, it's not so articulate this week. But this is what I would say. It would be us realizing just how much we have fed into situations um, and participated in horrible things by not looking at it, okay? Uh, being an enabler. I'll have this discovery too. I've never sat over here being like, I'm perfect. I got all the answers. I'm the first one to tell you I don't have the answers. I don't understand how this works really, but I just sit down and do it. <laughs> it, it comes through and I, I've, got, I've got a gaggle of angels around me laughing right now. But, you know, I just roll with it and, and have the intention that maybe it'll help somebody. Um, we need to wake up. God, I can't, I can't put it any other way. We'll do, we'll do year overviews, maybe. Because <laughs> uh, I'm feeling, because they're taking me into 2022 already, just in this week. Um, things will smooth out. But we have to stop being self-centered. If you're a narcissistic, narcissistic, you have to stop. 
Um, and if you say, I know, psychologists would be like, Michelle, it doesn't work like that. They don't just stop. It's just their wiring. and It's a thing. And blah, blah, blah. You better do something. Because I don't think the universe follows the rules of psychology all the time. I think it's got its own rules. I still want to say something. But um, figure your stuff out. Okay? <laughs> figure it out. And do your best. I mean, this this is no time for people. Because what, what I keep feeling is like more and more evil is going to be expressed. Because we're getting divided and the contrast is getting stark. I mean, it's such a stark contrast. And that's what we're seeing more and more things like what we've been seeing. But the guilt part is that you realize, oh, that's been happening a long time. Oh, remember? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get a Michael card because we need some protection. He said, don't say it like that. Don't say needs protection. We ask for protection and we thank Archangel Michael for his protection. All right. Explore your options. So remember the decision card. We need to choose a different way. And this says, dear God, source creator, whatever you call it. Thank you for your wisdom and love. Wisdom. That's Joe Fail. Okay. Wisdom and love helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. It can't go on the way it always has. That's why we have this new beginning card. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. We'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. Okay. You know, a lot of people are often asking, what is my path? What is my purpose? Does that person love me? Or, you know, these are beautiful questions. Like um, one I get often is why did that person come into my world? And I get it. I have lots of people that I've always wondered that. Like, what the heck was that? <laughs> are they coming back? Because I, I, I mean, if they come back, they better, they better be healed. Okay. Because <laughs> we're not dealing with no games. Okay. But this is definitely saying to me that, you know, when we get hung up on life's path and purpose, Here's a good test for yourself about where you're at, okay? If we say, do you want to know your life's path and purpose? And your thought goes to, yes, that's so fascinating. That's so intriguing. Yeah, tell me what I'm supposed to be because I know that I'm supposed to be famous. Or I know I'm supposed to, <laughs> you know, do something great in this world. I'm supposed to change this world, right? Um, or do you have a reaction of, yeah, I want to know if I'm if I'm doing it. Am I doing everything I should be doing? Okay. It's two very different feelings there. The ones that come to me and say, what's my life's path? I know I have so many gifts. I know I'm destined for something amazing. And I tune in and I say, well, you're just supposed to be human. Okay. <laughs> or whatever. And I don't tell them how grandiose. I don't play into their delusions of grandeur, basically. Uh, they will come back and say, this is the worst reading I've ever gotten. I hate you. I'm going to tell everybody how awful you are. I'm going to go on a smear campaign. Big surprise for a narcissist, right? That's what they do. Uh, I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> and then they go and they spam you all over the place. And you're like, oh man, you know, like whatever. But people on the other side, this happens more often than the other example. But you have other people who say, you know, I just want to make sure I'm making the most of this life. That's a beautiful opening. That is someone who's getting a ping from their soul. And it's wonderful that they are listening to it and heeding that call. Uh, but again, our ego consciousness says that it needs to look a certain way. So my, you know, is it right for me on my path to start my own business? And that's a beautiful question. Never be afraid to ask questions, okay? Never be afraid to ask that. Just expect a deeper answer than, than what you might expect, right? So, uh, you know, people are... You might be getting a message like, well, I mean, it's not about career. Actually, you're supposed to get ready for a bunch of relationships. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> that's, if you've been single and, and you've been like real, real good about it, right? Like you're like, I feel real good about this. I've been single. It's all good, whatever. And then it's like, well, no, the next chapter of your soul's contract is to learn how to play nice with others, <laughs> right? It's that sort of thing. So pay attention to where you are. And if you are getting overwhelmed, make sure you are taking care of yourself in every way. If something on your body hurts, make sure you go see your doctor. We're getting tuned up, okay? But um, we need to 
we kind of need to make sure everything's in place so that the light can come in. I, I'm getting the feeling here that we haven't really been good to our vehicles so much, right? I mean, we forget as souls, like we got these grand plans. We're like, oh, this is a great story to play out and explore these energies. But that soul does, does not remember what it's like to be in a human skin, <laughs> right? And you get here and you're like, why did I do this to myself? Yeah. So, <laughs> so it has this kind of feeling. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad week. It is a very reflective time. Again, I was just having a conversation with somebody about this. Uh, it's a very reflective time. Pay attention to your instincts. And certainly, this will happen for you, okay? Certainly, if something comes up and you have some insight, it's sudden insight, don't push it away. And certainly, don't let somebody else who wants to control your narrative tell you that that's not correct. Now, also, don't be that person. You can't be told anything, right? Like, just feel it out. Listen to your intuition. If you feel like, oh God, we can't, we can't just move on from this. This broke open a huge problem, this thing out there. We need to look at that. Current headlines. Again, about domestic violence, narcissism, and people getting overlooked and not getting the same kind of coverage. We know this, right? What are we going to do in a week? When it's on to another headline, well, there was already another one. Well, we're not going to make this too dark and heavy, but there was already another one. Or as I started filming, I mean, are we going to forget? And as I say that, again, it's all about balancing here. We don't, and I always feel like I have to put these disclaimers in here to not overcorrect and, you know, keep pulling the pain along. Like a big old tractor behind you or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, we got to figure out how to approach things better. We will know how to do that when we face our own stuff. We're healing that. We're reaching out for the appropriate help. All right. And participating with the collective as well. And understanding that our actions are feeding into that. There's a lot. I, Sorry if this was all over the place. Um... I don't know. <laughs> it's just a lot. I could sit here again. We're going to break it down into dailies. There's more coming up. Let me save it for the dailies. We'll leave this here. Have a good week. No, I love you. Always. Always. If you are sitting there and you're like, this world is so damn dark. I can't even deal with it anymore. Again, if it's really dark, get, get, get with people. People love you. People want to show up for you. And I love you. All right. We'll leave it there. Have a good week.